guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be the guinea pig products I absolutely regret buying. So we're going to take a look at products I probably shouldn't have spent my money on and perhaps this video is going to help you not make the same mistake I made. If you want to see what the piggies are up to, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let's get into the video. Bless you, Nugget. The first item that I regret buying is this plastic house. Doesn't really look like a Heidi at the moment, but this is a plastic Heidi that I got for the guinea pigs while I was on holiday. I wanted to check out different pet stores and what they sold. I thought it would be really fun and adorable. We did a really awesome video with that. And I kind of like about this product that you can take it apart, so it's very easy for storage. It also looks really colorful, which is also really nice. Uh, the thing is with this, though, that the guinea pigs chew plastic. So yeah, who would have thought that rodents chew stuff, I guess. But yeah, the problem, the main problem with this is that the guinea pigs chew it, so they can't be left alone with it. So if I'm filming a floor time video, this is a really fun Heidi, but I wouldn't really put it in their cage because especially Gatsby just loves to snack on this. Apparently it's really tasty. These are two guinea pig houses, so if you were to use them as the company intended, it would actually be a pretty small house and it would only have one entrance. So I bought two houses to make one big Heidi with two entrances. Um, out of it. So perhaps another advantage of this is that you can create totally different Heidi's with this, but still the problem is the guinea pigs chew it and for just a floor time item, this was simply too expensive. So the guinea pigs would probably give this a 5 out of a 5 because it's really fun and they love to snack it, but since it's plastic and I can't really leave it in the guinea pigs cage without supervision, I regret buying it because I think just for some floor time fun while I'm watching the guinea pigs, this was just simply too expensive. So the second item on my list of things that I regret buying are these fleece blankets. I think I got them from a pet store. They were really cheap, so I can't really say anything about the price this time. I think we're, each was like three or four euro. We'd use these in all of our guinea pig introductions, so I guess we got our money's worth from these. But the problem with these is that they smell. So it's a really, really thin fleece material. And as soon as the guinea pigs pee on them, you have to wash them because the smell is just really, really awful. Uh, I think probably what is good about them is that they're really big, price-wise, can't really say anything against them. And if you do an introduction and you just need lots of space, um, it comes in really handy that these blankets are huge, um, but they smell so, 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 so bad. So. For one introduction, it's okay, but for floor time or for even putting them in the guinea pig cage, these really thin fleece blankets just aren't a good idea. Um, when Frida had her first jaw surgery three or four years ago, I think, our cage was full of bedding, so we didn't have any fleece. Um, and the vet recommended to switch the fleece for the wound so that it wouldn't get infected. And we tried it with these blankets and it was just the worst idea ever. So for introductions these are really fun, but other than that we don't ever use these blankets and they take up a lot of space, so I'd say the thin fleece blankets are really a waste of money. So the next item that I regret buying is this little star toy. It's a chew toy for the guinea pigs, it looks really Christmassy, so it has this nice star pattern, which is why I bought it. I saw it in the pet shop and thought, well this would make a really great chew toy for a pigmas cage tour. And um, I just grabbed it because if you look at it, you kind of think that it's just made out of hay. When I was at home, I realized that there are coconut flakes on it. And I honestly still to this day have no idea if guinea pigs can eat coconut flakes, but I didn't really want to test it. Wasn't really sure if the coconut would upset their stomach. So I never used it. And I also never used it for a cage tour because even hanging it just in the cage was perhaps a bit too risky because I know my guinea pigs are a big chewers and I have no idea whether coconut is actually safe for them. Um, if I don't know if a food is safe for guinea pigs and I find really contradicting information online, I usually don't feed it, just to be on the safe side. So we still have the star left over and I regret buying it. I didn't really properly check it in the store. It was one of these items that you get at the cash registry while you're already paying. The next items that I regret buying is something that Gatsby is really excited about. and. 
It's these small packages of hay. So for the first couple of years when we had our guinea pigs, I would always buy these smaller packages of hay. And these things are really, really expensive for what's in them. Also, very often the hay isn't of such a great quality. One of these packages is 142, and because there's so little in it, that my five guinea pigs go through one of these packages in a day. So that's like 30 to 40 euro a month. I switched to a big hay package from a farmer, which is 18 euro for 15 kilos of hay. And it takes the guinea pigs about two to three months to go through one of these. These small packages come to over 400 euro a year for really poor quality hay and a lot of plastic wrapping. So I definitely regret buying these small packages of hay. I should have switched to larger bales of hay way sooner, but I live in an apartment, so, so I always thought that a bale of hay might not be the smartest idea in an apartment, but it turns out it works pretty well and I have currently a huge fresh package of hay on my balcony and it works somehow. So I should have made the switch way sooner and this is definitely a product I regret buying. Another product I regret buying is berry leaf forage. And it's not that I regret buying forage in general, but it's this particular variety of forage that my guinea pigs just don't really like. It's dried berry leaves and the guinea pigs just don't really like them. So even our huge forage fan Sylvester just doesn't really want to eat them. Look piggy, some nice dried berry leaves for you. No? Guess we, did you just throw it out? Sylvester, what do you think? You're the forage expert. No? Barely for it, we're not getting you again because the guinea pigs just don't eat you. Now, it turns out that guinea pigs just don't like certain varieties of forage. Two things that I regret buying, I don't even have any more because, because I ended up throwing them out, but I do have footage from older videos of these. So the first thing that I regret buying is this particular hay rack. It's pretty small. We used to have it when all of our guinea pigs were pretty small as well. So we had baby Pebbles, baby Frida, Big Sylvester and baby little one. And the hay rack kind of held enough hay for these guinea pigs, but I had to refill it pretty often. And also the guinea pigs constantly jumped into the hay rack and as soon as one guinea pig is lying in that hay rack, no one else can eat from it anymore. And also I read stories on, hi Yumi. And I read stories online that it, guinea pigs actually got stuck in it because, it because you were able to fold this hay rack for storage but apparently this sometimes happened when guinea pigs were trying to get to particular strands of hay so it turned out to be even dangerous. We never had that problem but still the hay rack was way too small and really impractical so I definitely regret buying that and not investing in a bigger hay rack right from the start. And then the second hay rack I regret buying is this really, really small one that apparently you also fill with pellets. Obviously the hay rack is quite small, but I kind of figured we could use it for floor time. But the guinea pigs were just constantly kicking it around. Nugget is chewing the bars. <laughs> well, they have definitely different things in mind than the people who designed this. And it had a little thing at the back of it so that you could attach it to your cage. But obviously this is not really possible because my cage doesn't have any wires so I couldn't properly attach it. So the guinea pigs kept just moving it around and then tipping it over. So the hay rack kind of defeated the purpose because it was just lying on the ground. But it was definitely fun until the guinea pigs found out that they could tip it over. So it was fun while it lasted. These were a couple of products I regret buying. Let me know if there are some things that you regret buying for your guinea pigs. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time! Bye! Oh look, everyone else is saying bye as well! And they're all sitting behind me so that you can't see them on camera.
I come outside and look at all of the things that I regret buying? Gatsby's off to the hallway. Gatsby! Come back!